Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. You guys will be reacting to Charlie's Kelly Challenge Fun Stars with Daddy Issue on casual sex. Guys, let's get straight into this. I think a lot of people, both men and women, they're kind of frustrated with the current dating mm -hmm. landscape. Do you have any thoughts on this? What's your diagnosis and any solutions? And we'll oh, yeah. go, we'll That's open a, it up. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I think people need to date with the intent to marry. Yeah, I, I'm a big critic of hookup culture yeah. in its current form. Um, I believe sex should be sacred and is sacred. And it's it's really way thrown away way too generously in this society and culture. Yeah. Um, and I can tell you, I'm super blessed. I have the best wife in the world. We have an amazing life. Um, building a family is the coolest thing ever. And I my prayer for all of you is that you one day can do that. It's, That's so cute. It's, um, <laughs> It's honestly the most joyful thing. And I've, you know, I've had some pretty amazing experiences. I've been very, very blessed. Very lucky, you could say, but very blessed is the word I would use. And the greatest joy I've ever had is coming home to my little daughter running up to my leg. There's nothing that even comes close to it. Not flying on Air Force One, not meeting with presidents. That's all that pales in comparison to your little girl coming up and squeezing your leg. Oh. <laughs> okay. Got it. Uh, does anybody else have any thoughts on that with, uh, you know? Yeah. So I just wanted to circle back because you said something that caught my attention and I disagree with it um, because you said something like, um, I hope all of you can like experience that. And like you said something like, I hope all of you can experience that. And I mean, I don't disagree with that. I hope we can all experience joy in life like that. That's amazing. But I just feel like I don't know why you said it that way. Like maybe we're not bro going like, to experience why, that why because would... we don't have the same values as you I is that what he said that from that i, thought it was I don't i don't think that's what, <laughs> I don't know. that's not the impression i, I got but i'll, I'll if charlie wants to answer well if i said it that way i didn't mean it that way maybe you can tell me more about your your line of work what would you like to know what do you do um, for a living like do you think that it's going to create a a good happy family in the future um Right now, I'm working on it. Yeah, me That's and good. my uh, boyfriend are doing really well in our relationship. And honestly, I think <laughs> contrary to what most people would believe, I think um, being in porn has strengthened us. What? Why is that? I, I, I've, I've never heard that. I'm, yeah. What? Can you tell me why? So basically, like being in porn and having sort of like this open type of relationship where you can have sex with other people. Um, obviously there are certain boundaries in the relationship, but it really makes you think about- um, Wait, what other boundary is there when you are permitted to sleep with other people? Like, mm, 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 don't tell me shit. There's no boundary like that. I think that is the height of it. That is the only thing in the Bible that Jesus said you can divorce, yes when your partner is when your partner commits adultery when she sleeps with someone else or when he sleeps with someone that else that's the only reason why you should divorce and that big reason and you're in a relationship with somebody and you guys are not supposed to be having sex in the first place but like you do and let's say it's fine because it's the intent to get married and you are sleeping with other people and you say that's what strengthens the relationship yeah i don't know if i'm mad or i'm crazy but like do you, wait, mm -mm. if I ask, do you think it's true? It's a very, very stupid question because it's not so. Well, guys, I feel this is the height of it. Like, this is the height of someone I've seen that is delusional because she claims. But guys, let's get back to this. You know, what's important, why you love this person, and, you know, you start to really hold things true that are deeper than just sex. And I think that what's the things, bro? on top of that, you can share sex with other people together. And that's really bonding. That's really fun. Are you ever worried that you, you do you ever get jealous of him if he has sex with other people? Yeah. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. So how does that strengthen your relationship? Um, because we're able to talk about it. And I think every time that I bring up a concern, and he's able to soothe it and we're really able to like work on that bond it just makes it stronger have you ever when you were having sex do you ever think it's more than physical that maybe there's emotional and spiritual connections you might be introducing no so it's a purely physical experience yeah see for me sex is more than physical yes. it's actually that's the least part of sex for me because i get to share it with my soulmate mm. it's my best friend 
It's definitely a big energy exchange. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a big energy exchange. And so Molly, I would ask respectfully, you know, wouldn't you want to only share that energy exchange with the person that you love most and want to have children with? Um, I think sex can exchange different types of energies. So like you can exchange an intimate type of energy or you can exchange a really passionate, like horny type of energy. You can exchange dull energy during sex. You can exchange manipulative energy during sex. Sex can be used for a wide variety of things. And I think the biggest I one really is like a marital like spiritual connection, mm -hmm. but you can't deny that there's other benefits to it as well. If you, if you could never, if you could be with your boyfriend currently, and I waved a magic wand and I said, you can make a million dollars a year and never do porn again, would you? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Period. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you making yeah. more than that a year, Molly? Uh, not yet. Oh, well yeah. then, I mean, aren't you doing that? That's your profession. So I assume you're doing that to make money, correct? Yeah, 100%. Well, also but Charlie I'm just has a magical wand. He's got, that's not the wand. Um, he's, <laughs> For he's, the sake of argument. He's yeah. used the wand. You can make a, a million dollars a year. Yeah. You don't have to do, uh, you know, so the adult content. Way, yeah. Well, the thing is, I wouldn't have to do it. That would be great, but I would still want to do it. I'm, I mean, personally, like, I'm an exhibitionist. I love, like, putting my sexual self out oh. there for other people to see, for other people to, like, you know, touch themselves to, have fun with. Oh. Um, can I, I love Can I ask I you a, a question? Since you're about presenting yourself to the world, do you have a good relationship with your father? Okay, here we go. <laughs> no, I don't talk to him. I, I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> like, to be honest, there's no man in this world that we see his daughter doing something stupid as this. That we still have keep conversation with his or her daughter. Like, to be honest, because like, there's this video I saw about a black man, he saw his daughter doing, the daughter sent her boyfriend a new pic. And what he did next was shocking. No, she, she posted a talking video on her status and she blocked her parents. And the father saw it and called, like let's say four boys. So they hold her down and he flogged her life. And then a lot of you in the West be like, no, that's not how to train a child, that's child abuse. But to be honest, because those things are not happening there, that's why foolish people like this are being brought up. Yes, I'll be honest. We'll call it, we'll call this baby split. Because why we go Satan's like, like it's, mm, it's irritating to be honest. No, even with the money, you still want to sell your body. So what's the need of selling your body then? Because I, I don't really know if these people listening to adult actress who have actually left the game and yet the way they regretted why they did it in the first place yet the way they, they feel like they've lost their dignity and stuff like that and with all these things like you can still see women that claim to want to marry a man and want to give birth this this is the reason why like i feel if your mother is an adult actress you really can talk I, I, I like if maybe you are having an argument with your friend and be like I, I, I can see your, your mom's in a second. And how, how, how are you going to express yourself? More like everyone have had sex with your mom in a kind of way. And bro, I feel this kind of people should just don't even adopt a child. Just stay single or be with someone and just die. Don't just recreate. Don't bring someone into this world. To be honest, I feel most of them grow out of it though. That is honest to like. I feel change is constant and most of them go out of it. But with her own ideology and mindset now, I don't feel she's fit to actually bring a child into this world. But guys, tell me what you think about this video. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.